Hello everyone and welcome to semester two and the metabolism and immunity block. In this short presentation I'll run you through an introduction to this block then we'll have a look at the tutorial outline which as usual includes a recap of the last block, a quick look at the small group discussion tasks and encouraging you to have a think about a debrief for the previous block as well. This is a four-week mission and we're going to look at what happens to the metabolic and immune systems in space as well as a bit of a look at space microbiology. It's our fourth physiology block and we're starting at the beginning of July and finishing towards the end of July. As usual there's only one space walk and you can work through that at your own pace. The Meet an Expert session will take place on Monday the 10th of July with Dr Scott Smith from NASA. And of course this is the brief video overview but if you want to have another look at it in the future you can access it via the link on the Canvas page. During this block we are also going to continue with the LEGO Education Build to Launch series and as far as the videos and the thought-based activities go that's all part of module three and ideally you should have a look at those videos prior to the start of this block just to remind you we have a special section about build to launch in the canvas site and during this block we're going to have our first build to launch collaborative tutorial and for that you're encouraged to put together some designs and bring those along to the tutorial so you can work collaboratively with your colleagues on each task and then we'll get each team to report back to the main group and there's more information about these tasks on the build to launch tutorial one tile on the mission five home page as usual, there's also some briefing required for the tutorial at the start of the block, and that includes a recap from the gastrointestinal block spacewalk. I didn't put the names in this presentation for privacy reasons, but they are available on Canvas, so please have a look at that, and please come along to be ready to participate in discussion. And just a reminder that now that you've completed your first assessment, there are two further assessments due this semester. Your written report, which is due towards the end of September, and your ePortfolio reflective piece, which is due at the start of October, and that's on the topic of spin-offs. So to support these two assignments, you are encouraged to keep going with your reflections, one to support your written report and the other to support your spin-off assignment. And just to remind you, there's a large number of spin-off resources available via the spin-off tile. The layout of the homepage is pretty standard. And the to-do list has the key tasks that you should complete and also the key dates for the block. With the Inspiration tab, this time we're focusing on your favourite sci-fi movie, so please do share your selections. And then the Extension tab is the same as it has been previously with a wide range of additional resources for you. The layout of the spacewalk is once again standard. The learning objectives for this block reflect what's included in the explore section and broadly that covers metabolic homeostasis in space, the key outcomes of the NASA twin study, stress response and oxidative stress in spaceflight, human hibernation in deep space, really interesting topic how the immune system is modulated in space, some key findings in space microbiology, and the translational research potential of this area of space health. The explore topics are divided up into five broad areas, which includes metabolic health in space, the stress response and oxidative stress, hibernation in deep space, 
Immunology in Space and Space Microbiology. The discussion points on Padlet, as usual, there are three topics which relate specifically to this block and then three general topics. And I would encourage you to respond to the Padlet questions and share your thoughts with your fellow students. With the review tab, this time we've included some quiz questions in association with the Explore tab resources. So you would have been able to do those as you were working through the resources. And the extra resources are divided up into four sections, the standard book list. Then there are resources for extra learning relating to metabolism then immunology, and finally, space microbiology. We have some links for the LEGO Build to Launch Module 3, Working in Space, which is the videos and the thought-based activities specifically, but that also leads into the design-based activities, which we will be doing in Semester 2. And we have our first collaborative tutorial in the middle of July, which is the first of that set of design-based activities. So I strongly encourage you to have a look through those three missions and think about the designs that you might bring along to the tutorial. And finally, we have our spin-offs tile, which has the link to the spin-offs resources for your reflection that you're doing and also your end of semester assignment. And I would just like to mention at this stage, for the very last tutorial of the year, I would like to invite a small number of you to volunteer to present your ePortfolio presentations for the rest of the class during that tutorial. And as well, we'll have a bit of a general debrief. So as you're going through and putting your presentations together, please do have a bit of a think about whether you might like to share what you found with me and with all your other students as part of the way of wrapping up the year. With a small group discussion, the first topic we're going to talk about is managing an infectious disease outbreak in space. And there's a short article for you to have a look at. And then it would be great if you could think in advance of the tutorial about five key challenges to managing an infectious disease outbreak in space and five key strategies to manage such an outbreak. So you'll have an opportunity to discuss that in small groups and then select a representative to present those back to the main group. And as well, there's a Padlet that you can use to organise your ideas. In addition, we'll continue working on the LEGO Build to Launch thought-based activities. And that will include Mini Mission 3.0, Working in Space, Mission 3.1, Staying Safe in Space, and mission 3.2, the right tool for the job. So as usual, each of those parts has some questions for you to think about. It'd be great if you could think about those in advance of the tutorial. So those are the four questions for part two. And then we have the questions for part three and part four. They have three questions each for you to think about. And there's also a Padlet that you can use to organise your ideas. So feel free to put some ideas into the Padlet prior to the tutorial or during the tutorial or after the tutorial. And if there are enough contributions, I will then share the images of the Padlet with you after the tutorial. And finally, we'll be doing a short debrief for the gastrointestinal block. So please have a think about what you liked most, what you didn't like so much, and what might be improved, and bring along any constructive suggestions. Thank you, and looking forward to seeing you all soon.